afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this world. We are here again for another Coffee with C. Today, our topic is from our friend Luz. And here it is. Coffee with C, I am not happy, but I have everything like money, nice car, nice house, but I don't feel happy. Before, when I don't have everything I have right now, when my life is simple, I just had enough. I feel more happier with the people I was with before. They no longer in my life, but I'm successful at work and other things. Luz, I am assuming you've already watched this video, How to Find Happiness, and this video, How to Truly Be Happy. We're going to talk about the question that you specifically ask. So let's begin. You said you have everything, like money, nice car, nice house, and a great job. If that's your definition of everything, maybe these things really do not matter to you because these external things still do not make you happy, right? But you mentioned when you had enough, when your life was still simple, you feel happiness. Happiness is within. We do not get happiness from the external things that we accumulate. External things like money, nice car, nice house could make us feel excited and have us a sense of joy temporarily but those things fade as those material things get old and your question truly validates this video that happiness cannot be found from external things so now here's what i want you to ask yourself what matters to you what are the things that make you happy? You were happier with the people that you were with before, but right now they were no longer there in your life. Based on what you were saying, it seems like to me, what matters to you are people, people around you. What matters to you are relationship. You value these things more than the money, more than the material things. And this is exactly what I am saying to my Coffee with C community. Do not compare your life to others because everyone has a different story. We do not know their journey. For your specific example, you have gone every material thing like money car house but it seems like you are losing relationship you are losing friends you are losing the people that were important to you and that's one of the cost of all the things that you prioritize i suggest focus on the things that you truly value based on your message you value people you value relationships you value engagement you value interactions good focus on that do more of that and you know the good part about it Luz, you have the privilege to do that because unlike the rest of us everyone needs to work everyone needs to grind they don't have a choice but in your case you have the privilege to focus on interaction to get more relationship to get more deeper connection and while you are focusing on creating more meaningful relationship live at the present moment what are the things that you have focus on the things that you have right now you're alive you have a roof over your head you have a great job and you get to eat so focus on those things be thankful of your current state right now while you strive to be more happier you are one of those people who have the privilege to have a choice and do whatever their heart desires because you do not have to work hard you are financially stable use that leverage and use it for your advantage if these material things do not make you happy find the things that make you happy and based on your message you find happiness in relationships meaningful interactions meaningful for connections focus more on that the thing is if you think that you are unhappy regardless of you having all these things find a hobby find an activity that you enjoy because you know most of the time our unhappiness is from here these are just your thoughts these are just your negative thoughts that are luring in your head when in fact you can easily change and have a shift of your mindset that instead of looking at the things that you currently do not have instead of focusing on what you currently don't have focus on the things that you have what else makes you happy you have control over that if you find yourself dwelling 
on the negative thoughts or the sadness that you feel within. Try to keep it at a minimum. For example, get your mind off of the state of sadness. Everything is just your negative thoughts and most of the time these things are not real. Let me give you an example. If you're watching sports, don't you forget everything and these sports like while you're watching it, it makes you happy. Another example, when you're playing a video game, don't you forget everything and it just makes you happy? Or when you're watching your favorite show, isn't it you forget most of the things that make you sad? Find the things that make you happy. Get your mind off of the sadness and choose to be happy. Stop wallowing on things that make you sad. Get your mind off of it. Find an activity. Find a hobby. Be more grateful. Be more thankful of what you currently have. A lot of people will be happy to be in your position. A lot of people will trade places to be in your place. Think about it. Be more thankful while you strive to be more happier. Life is a journey. You cannot wait for everything to set in place in order for you to start being happy. You have to make the decision to be happy now. Happiness is a choice that you can make now. Instead of you thinking about these things, learn how to be happy. Keep your requests, your topics, comment down below. I create videos every week for my Coffee with C community and your topic may be next. Until next time!